Hi everyone, Carol Brightbill. I want to introduce you to a feature in Google Slides that you might not be aware of called Speaker Spotlight. What Speaker Spotlight does, it puts a live video feed within your presentation of you presenting to your audience right in your slides. Let me show you how to insert this and a few different ins and outs of this feature. Of course, to go to Google Slides, you want to go to slides.google.com or go to your waffle and select the slides icon. Once you're in Google Slides, you want to go to the insert menu and the fourth item down says speaker spotlight. When you select this, a panel opens up to the right that has 14 different shapes that you can choose one of these that you think best fits what you're trying to accomplish. I'm going to choose the upper right and it will default place it in the upper right, but you're not stuck with it in that position. Let's close out this panel. I'm going to grab this and move this to the lower right. And while you're here, you can grab the upper corner and change it and make it however you want it to be. When you right click on this, it will say add shape to all slides. So any formatting that you want to do, you want to do this before you add this to all of your slides. I'm going to select the object again and I'm going to give it a four point stroke. I'm also going to change the color to best fit my presentation here. And I'm going to hit format options and let's give this a nice drop shadow, giving it some distance from the object angle it to the right. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a right click and I'm going to add this shape to all of my slides. If you look down here, now that object is on every single slide. I want you to be aware that this is only available using Chrome. And let's say that you don't like that shape that you picked. You can remask that object. When I select it, up in the icon menu, there's a new icon, Mask Speaker Spotlight and there's an arrow to the right of that. Selecting the arrow, there are all the other different shapes. Now I can change that shape, but be aware it only changes the shape on the slide that you're on. If you have your speaker spotlight on top of an item, when you go and present, the layers will start applying. That means that this speaker spotlight will become the bottom layer and any other object will be layered on top, so it will not show. You can add animation to your speaker spotlight. You want to select your object and up in the icon menu beside format options, it says animate. Selecting this, let's select it again. You don't want to do slide transition. This is an object. You want to animate this object. So on the drop down, what I'm going to say, I want this to fly in from the right with previous. Let's play it and see what it looks like. There it is. And as we talk about all these changes, you might want to consider putting your speaker spotlight in the theme builder. That way, all your changes will automatically cascade. When you come up to the view menu, here's your theme builder. And if you select the top slide and you insert your speaker spotlight right here, any changes that you do then will appear on all the other slides that you have so that you don't have to individually do it. Now, to see how this works, you want to have your slide presentation. I'm going to select Slideshow. A description box comes open saying that this presentation uses Speaker Spotlight. Your device's camera will turn on for all slides containing the Speaker Spotlight. Camera settings and slides don't affect cameras used elsewhere, for example, in your Google Meet. So let me select the button, Use Camera in Slideshow, and let's see what this looks like. There it is. Nice little object with a drop shadow. Let's go to all the other slides. There it goes. You can see the different shape that I had. Let's go to the next one. So this is blocking the object that's on the page. So you want to make sure to have this in a position that it doesn't block anything. Here's our animation. Last one is theme builder for universal changes. And that's it. I think this is a really nice feature that Google Slides has added for you. If you do a lot of presentations, you just have to put some forethought into the shape and design as you want it so you're not constantly adjusting how it looks.
I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have enjoyed this video please consider subscribing to my channel and have a great day.